Yeah, look, the, the the games that are to come are, are obviously very, very difficult. Um, you know, the league is, is of excellent quality now, you know, so there is no easy games. You know, obviously results haven't been what we would like them to be. Uh, that is a fact. Um, but I think, you know, the spirit around the group is really good. The energy is good. You know, we had a very good reset on Monday. Um, lots of good chats, discussions, you know, building plans, you know, learnings, all those things that go on. And it was a really good day. We were on the pitch uh, for a shorter session yesterday. That went really well. We had an excellent session there roughly about half an hour ago. And we had a, you know, really good tempo to the session, lots of good quality. And we're really excited about playing, you know, what is an unbelievable side, you know, coming to Toma Park in the Bulls. So, loads to be excited about. Yep, yeah, uh, it hasn't been what we wanted it to be uh, to date, but um, we believe in it and, and we believe we're getting better and better. Well, we're seeing stuff in training, okay, we're implementing new game plans. It's obviously a, a very new coaching group, okay, so when I say improvements in games, we're, not, I mean, we're probably not quite seeing that yet, okay, and that's, that's a fair point. I think in training, we're, we're training at a very good tempo. I believe our, our players are fitter, okay, they're, they're developing skills under pressure, so we're asking them to play a game that hasn't been asked of them before, okay, so everyone has their own philosophies on the game, but we're, we're trying to develop develop those skill sets to allow us to execute on the pitch. So we are seeing evidence of that in training. Yes, we haven't quite clicked as to date on the pitch, but we believe on the evidence that we've seen through getting fitter, through playing under pressure, through developing you know, different aspects of the game, that there's big performances to come. Look, the emerging Ireland guys, I think, were, were excellent. Okay? We had them for a number of weeks before they went to South Africa. Just looking at their displays, you know, individually, I thought to a man they all had big, they all had big tours. They really did. So that's very exciting. You know, there's obviously a lot of experienced players in Munster. You know, they're still finding their feet. Uh, we're still coming together. But there's an awful lot of young talent. Roman Salanoa to, to name check one. You know, a, a guy we have huge hopes for. But you know, to a man, the, the emerging group coming back. I think there's all quality there. So. Um, looking forward to getting those boys back into the building. Looking forward to to developing them and I suppose the experiences that, that, that they have gained down in South Africa is something that we'd be, be interested in hearing about as well. I mean, of course, it's frustrating. Um, naturally, it's frustrating. Um, we're all trying, obviously, our hardest to, to make passes stick, but obviously when they're not sticking, it is frustrating. But we've got processes around that when we meet in huddles and stuff like that about how to calm ourselves down. So it's probably about getting back to the next role like, I mean, it's very, very cliche, but that's what it is about. Obviously, looking back on games then and you're seeing opportunities that have wrote, uh and you're not taking them, that's probably even more frustrating. But I think I'd I'd prefer to see the chances we're not executing rather than not seeing chances opening up um, in that sense. Uh, like, when we're coming in on Monday and Prendy showing us chances that we should have taken, I'd much prefer to see that, whereas not seeing anything at all, to be honest. Um, of course, those passes have to stick in the future. We haven't been good enough, we know that, uh, 100%. Uh, we won't shy away from that at all. We've had tough, tough reviews over the last few weeks, um, and they were needed, in fairness. Uh, they've been good, and uh, hopefully they do stick now uh, this weekend. Like We have full belief in what we're doing in training. Um, training has, has been upped so much this year. Like um, I feel like the fittest I've ever felt from the training we're doing. Um, and in training, we're seeing the, these patterns and our passes are sticking. So, like I said, we need to bring it on onto the pitch this Saturday. I mean, that pressure has always been there, um, but it's the exact environment that I would want to be in, to be honest. I don't think I'd, re I'd be in an environment that there isn't pressure on you. Um, like, yeah, I actually met a few Munster fans in Duns uh, on Sunday. And in fairness, they were all very, very like um, upbeat and, and wishing us well. Obviously, you can sense their frustration as well of, as what's happening. I'm a fan. I've been a Munster fan since I, f since I was born, so I'm as frustrated as anyone else, you know what I mean? Uh, the lads in here are, are more frustrated than, than anyone. Um, but look, the Munster fans, they've always been with us and they always will be with us. We know that. I've, I've got a real sense of that over the last few weeks when things aren't going right. So, look, we're glad to have them. And the Bulls are a very physical side. I think everyone knows that. Um, they're quite physical through the middle and then they try and whip it wide and, and get their pace on the ball, which they have lots of that as well. So, look, we've, we've looked at that. Leams have, has given us quite the detail on that. We've went into detail, had good discussions. So that's went well. We know exactly what we're expecting. Um, I know they're off the back of a loss as well, so be, they'll be raring to go um, in Tom Park as well on Saturday night. But, um, look, we need to look after ourselves, of course. Um, 
trying to bring in the, the things that we did wrong the weekend uh, and bring them forward to this weekend. Um, so, look, we're looking forward to Saturday night. I, I can't wait, personally.